In this video, we're going to talk about how can you handle changes to your plans, for example, ones that are forced on you by change requests, in big picture using two of its features, basic tasks and scenarios. This video is part of our efforts to provide best possible training around Jira, Confluence and whole Atlassian ecosystem. If you would like to support us, like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below if you have any questions, and remember that you can always reach out to us for any of our paid services like trainings, consultations, or implementations. Okay, so let's look at the big picture. I am in one of the boxes representing my project, and I have over here a very simple plan uh, that shows us where on the timeline specific pieces of work are delivered, what are the dependencies. And in general, very often when we have ongoing project, that kind of plan is already approved by the stakeholders and we cannot really change it like that. So without any consultations or without any approval. What is more, usually if you'll, if you'll start, start changing it over here in, in big picture, it automatically updates issues in Jira. So people who are working at these tasks might be confused. Why suddenly my end date changed or why there is a new dependency over here. So usually we want to update these plans in more controlled way. For example, if new change requests comes, comes in, you may want to first create the draft of the plan and after it is approved, basically make it live plan and update your, your actual plan. So how can we do that? How can we achieve it so that we have our plan that is approved, but in parallel, we have a second plan that is kind of a, yeah, not yet approved. We're just playing around with it and changing, checking uh, what impact specific scenarios would have. So let's do this step by step. Okay, so let's imagine I received a change request because new work was identified in my project that earlier we were not able to identify it. Uh, so I need to create new tasks over here. But again, before new plan is approved, I do not want to change anything in existing plan. So in the live scenario, uh, we will lock this task. So the work, new work that we identified is contributor to this task, so basically child task. So for now, I will lock scheduling mode of this task so that the start and end dates are never changed over here. And I will create two basic issues which will represent my work, the, the work coming from change requests, right? So I will call it simply CR1 task one and CR2 task two. Year two task one, I mean, year one task two. Yeah, so we have uh, the tasks. They fit under the parent because we've said that the parent uh, has locked period mode and, and it will not move. So now the tasks or the work that we identified has dependency. These two tasks have dependency between each other, but also they have dependency between, or they have to be done before this, for example, third subtask. So we will create dependency between those, but before that, we will also lock this task. Again, we do not want it to be moved. So we will create, we will lock this task, create dependency, and now we have all the new work identified and dependencies created. Our plan was not updated in the meaning that these existing issues were not moved. And from Jira perspective, Nothing new was created. We created no new, new Jira issues. And these dependencies that we see over here are also stored only with uh, in big picture because they exist not between Jira tasks, but between Jira tasks and basic tasks. We can also mark these tasks in color just so we clearly see that this is something we should pay attention to. This is coming from change requests. So now when we identified this new work, created it as basic tasks and created dependencies, we can switch to our scenario for change request one and we can start 
actually doing the planning on the timeline and in the resource module. So let's unlock, change the scheduling mode of the two tasks that I blocked earlier to standard one. Yep, and you can see that right away, Big Picture automatically updates where they are on the timeline. I will switch for a moment to live scenario. You see that in the live scenario, they are still as they were. So yeah, we can do the replanning. Let's say that, okay, this task will in fact be, be longer. Uh, maybe somewhere over here, we need a lag time in the dependencies. But basically we can do whole planning without impacting and updating Jira issues. After plan is done, we can check resources. If they will be okay, here they are not. But if they will be okay, we can ask stakeholders for approval. And yeah, basically when we create the scenario, you could see that we could create private one or public. So for public stakeholders, if they have right permissions to the box, we'll see uh, this scenario. They will be able to access it and see what is the proposal for the new plan. If they will approve it, we can merge it to live scenario. We'll do this, do this in a moment. If they will not approve it, or maybe uh, there are some other problems like with, with resources, you can work on your plan and just step by step bring it to the feasible state. If approval is done, we can go and merge it to live. The live scenario will be updated with all the changes we did in our, in our change request one scenario. So now the last step we should do to finalize our new plan is to change the basic tasks that we created to actual Jira issues, right? Because everything else is as, is an as actual Jira issue. Probably this new work that was identified, we want it to as a Jira issue. So fortunately, it's also pretty easy. You can right click on it, convert to Jira issue. We will be asked in which project we want to create new task. And after, after we select, we will be, uh, yeah, we'll basically get a, uh, task creation wizard, you see that some of the information, basically a uh, uh, name summary is pre-filled, but we can convert it to the normal task and our new plan will be finalized. So all the changes coming from change request were included in our task and we did not update Jira issues, their start and end date, their dependencies step by step. Uh, it could take us several hours, bringing a lot of confusion maybe, but we just did it in one swift uh, move after plan was already approved. So we knew that we can go on with that. Okay, that's it for this video. Hope it was helpful for you. If you have any questions, if you wonder how could you use Jira and the big picture to improve your planning and project management, feel free to contact us. We have a lot of experience in that area and I'm sure we'll be able to help. Thanks for this one and see you in the next video.